Hello Instagram Live, how are you today? Welcome to our conversation today. I wanted to chat about life after the breakthrough. We're building on the foundational stepping stones that I've shared so far. So this week I've been popping on um, very spontaneously every day to chat about how to unleash your limitless potential. On Monday we talked about our codes to limitless possibilities. Hello, hello. Then we talked about the principles of reality creation and I introduced you to the framework of one of our proprietary techniques, which is the Helix method. And on Tuesday, we talked about how to collapse timelines so you can bend reality and have really fast results by mastering energy psychology. And then we covered yesterday, just remembering all the days. Yesterday, we talked about you know what opens up for you with multi-dimensional manifesting. And I also invited you to come and join us in the Helix Method certification program. And for those of you that are being called, just reach out to me in DMs. I wanted to give you a heads up, I'm actually away after this week. Um, so just reach out before tomorrow, the 18th of August, if you wanna chat with me personally. Otherwise, if you're on the replay and it's after the 18th of August, it's all good. My team have got you covered. They'll be checking my DMs and our email, clientcare@luisahavers.com, and so, um, they've got you covered, they can answer any questions and they can help you enroll with your preferred payment option as well. And when you enroll, you'll get immediate access to a membership site and I invite you to focus on the welcome section and to learn our technique for manifesting and you can join in our 30 day manifesting challenge, which all the mentors are, are going through together at the moment, which is super fun. The vibe in the group is really, really high. And then when I'm back, which is on the 4th of September, I'll guide you through what to focus on, what to focus on next. Um, and our live calls start on the 21st of September. So just to give you a, a heads up on all, all of that. Alrighty, so I wanted to ask you, have you noticed this? So as you step outside of your comfort zone and out of your identity, the, the one that you're currently holding towards what it is that you want, that you activate your subconscious to start screaming at you, giving you all the reasons why not to allow the success in. So our monkey mind is very quiet when we're just doing our thing and actually we're not changing anything. And then when we start to step up, our monkey mind starts monkeying around and it can say various things to us. So I'd love to know in the comments, what does your monkey mind say to you? So do you get versions like this? Can you handle this? What on earth do you think you're doing? What if you can't keep this going? What will so and so think, you know, insert name, what will mum and dad think, what will your partner think, what will your children think, you know, whoever it could be. What if this happens, or that happens, or so and so turns up, this is a big one, what if you burn out again? Um, burnout is such a big one for, for people, I think it can really, really hold us back. You aren't good enough, a huge one, yes, absolutely. What about this one, you haven't got time for this? Have you had that one bubble up? or maybe hearing yourself sort of saying, why not just stay where you are? And here's the thing, our brain is just simply trying to keep us safe and in line with our set point and our current identity. Yes, what if you fail? That's a huge one, huge one. And the thing is, is if your brain has never seen or experienced something before, it's gonna see it as a threat. So your stress hormone levels are gonna go up, the blood flow in the brain starts to constrict, and so you're less likely to, to take risks and then, so everything starts to flow, slow down. So we start to see ourselves putting our foot on the brake. And this is because, you know, we are conditioned to be living life in a, in a certain way from our programming. We are getting programming from all angles, parental programming, transgenerational programming, societal programming. It goes really, really deep. And this is the thing, we see it in the animal world as well. Even with the tiniest of, tiniest of weeniest of insects, the teeny tiny weeny flea. So when fleas are placed in a jar and they try to jump out, but they will try and jump out, I should say, but then after the lid is put on them, the fleas will actually, when they're trying to jump out, they stop trying to escape because they get used to this invisible, this, this ceiling. They've learned the boundaries of their new environment they're in. And this is the kicker. When the lid is removed, the fleas just keep jumping to that same, same ceiling. They've got, a, they've got a glass ceiling. And, and this is the thing, you know, the fleas own past 
timelines and experiences and beliefs mean that the fleas kids, I don't know what a fleas child's called, <laughs> fleas offspring, um, their offspring follow their example and they'll never jump higher. So when we think about, okay, so if we translate what that means for us, like, like the fleas, you know, our past timelines, generational timelines, programmings, conditioning, all create these imaginary boundaries to keep us, that, that lid on our ceiling and to keep us on that default future timeline. This is our default set point. And our bodies and our brains want to keep us in line with that familiarity. And they have a 100% success rate at doing so unless we are taking specific action to, to make those changes. So that's why you want to, when I'm working with you, I'll be really tuning in and asking you about your somatic responses, your energetic responses to the work that we're doing, the rewiring, the imprinting um, that we use with our energy psychology techniques in the, in the Helix method. So what does this all mean for breaking through a previous set point and life after the breakthrough? Because there truly is a breakthrough cycle. So the key bit for me is what follows after the breakthrough. So you, this is really important. So you can hold that new level of expansion, that new level of love, new level of possibilities, new level of wealth, whatever it, whatever the, the expansion has been. So if you think of your own breakthrough and your own hero's journey, your starting point is in the comfort zone. This is your, what you're experiencing right now, your current level of wealth and money and what feels normal to you in your body. And that can be how much you struggle, um, where you're feeling like you've got to get out of a situation and the pattern around that, or how much thriving feels normal in your body. Does this make sense? Let me know in, this, in the comments if this, is, if this is resonating. And then you make a decision. I'm going all in and elevating my consciousness. I'm changing my relationship with money, changing who I am in relation to money, changing my identity around money so that I can make a bigger impact in the world. And at that, that point, you're like, right, I'm stepping over the threshold, over the doorway. And as you step over, perhaps it's your, you know, your right foot first and then followed by the left foot. And you can feel yourself starting to move forward. You start to experience literally or hear thoughts that reveal what has always been there in your subconscious programming, all the beliefs that the subconscious has decided to hold to keep you safe in familiarity. So what if I fail? You aren't good enough. Those are those first surface layers of beliefs that have been kicked up to keep us safe. It's the pieces underneath that I'm interested in to find out so we can release those, change the energy around that so that we can get you moving forward. And the subconscious is going to do everything to bring you back to that future timeline that you're currently programmed for. So things like challenges will come up <clears throat> excuse me challenges will come up big things could be like you don't feel like doing it anymore you tell yourself you can do it on your own but then there's no one there to bust your blind spots which is why your subconscious wants you to be doing it on your own if that makes sense another one what can come up you can find yourself diverted suddenly you need to go and do this thing over here and that just takes a whole lot longer to get to where you want to go because of that does that make sense and some people give up and stay in familiarity and then tell themselves that they're moving forwards but are they really so this is the thing without being really intentional and being an excellent steward of your consciousness. You, you can revert back to old ways, you'll find patterns repeating themselves, contract back to upper limits, and others will then have their breakthrough. This is the thing, the breakthrough isn't the end. The work is to embody that up level state so you can actually hold it for longer. You stabilize it, the body feels safe, and you can expand it further. And each new growth in business is gonna require more of yourself, requires growth in your identity and your self-leadership, and as I reflect back, I remember my my first breakthrough, which I created for myself through everything that I've learned and I can I, that I consistently did, which is now what I teach in the Wealth Portal each and every day. And I could literally feel my vibration just transforming and the opportunities that started to come my way just blew my mind. Investment opportunities, collaborations with very established brands, speaking about wealth energetics at summits for seven figure earners and investors, more and more clients saying yes to working with me. So I got to contribute to more people and I have more money than expenses and it just felt so different. It felt lighter. I felt the difference of peace in my heart, the, that low level of stress that had been rumbling away in the cells of my body had gone and 
actually I hadn't been aware that it was there until it had gone. Does that does that make sense? Let me know if you've had that experience where you're like, oh, what's happened? I feel I feel different. And I had faith and certainty in my manifesting and faith in the universe and trust in myself and trust in the universe. And to me, that is absolutely priceless. And after that breakthrough, you know, we've continued to grow. I've restructured my business so we can serve more clients and contribute to more people, which is really exciting. And I personally continue to collapse those past timelines and to work on myself and to change past identities and those experiences and beliefs and emotions and all the energetic things across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness so that I'm continually moving on to my higher timeline and then balancing that with our Helix Method manifesting rituals so that I can live at my fullest self-expression. And, you know, this is, we continue to do this, of course, you know, when I think about some of the decisions that I'm personally making at the moment, I'm considering looking at moving to Dubai. And of course, my brain's going, what on earth are you doing? Don't do it. I'm looking to move on to a higher timeline to require to embody a, to embody a new me. And so to be in the space of, so my body feels certain, and like, of course, this is happening. So I'm working through that and noticing what's coming up and where are the fears and the hesitations and how my subconscious is trying to keep me on the same thing so that I can move forward. Whether I move to Dubai or somewhere else, it's just creating an opportunity for me to expand and to move through it to see what's on the other side of any contractions that are coming up. Does that make sense? So I invite you to think that life actually begins after the breakthrough because you really truly become even more of who you truly are, where you're living at your fullest self-expression, a, a, a new you at a higher timeline, and your invitation is to continue on that timeline as you grow and to evolve to a higher one, one that you didn't think was possible yet. And as you evolve and grow, you create and you see that there's just these limitless possibilities, you truly have limitless potential. So I'm going to invite you to take a pulse check. So this is everybody live and on the replay. Who has broken through a money ceiling and is like, yeah, I'm ready to rinse and repeat that. Or perhaps you're like, do you know what? The business has been kind of same, same, and I'm ready to, ready to take the revenue to another level, but I know that I need to do the energy work. The energy work comes first. Or perhaps you're like, I haven't broken through yet and I really want to break through. And here's, a, here's another one I would like you to kind of consider was when was the last time it broke through? Did anything change? When was the last time it grew? So have you got married recently? Has there been a big life event and then the income has stayed the same? Or has has it carried on growing since that, since that life event? Is your default pattern of being used to having things in a certain way, running the show, so you just get to experience more of the same things over and over? And this is where we can hear ourselves saying things like, so just to give you some examples so you can see what this 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 looks like, or sounds like, I should say, in, in your head. We can hear ourselves saying things like, well, I've, you know, we reason with ourselves. I've just had my best month, things are feeling good, and so maybe I'll just skip my personal development or my manifesting ritual today. Maybe you say something like, I'm just going to wait until I've got this and that in place before I launch my new program. So instead of getting the support in place, you can do it all with more ease. That's the expense of waiting. It's the thing that when you're in that space, it's like, what is this costing me? So I invite you, don't believe your thoughts. It's it's just a thought form that's created because you've you're you're you've hit your nervous system's capacity. So this you think of it as your energetic ceiling. Or we realize, thinking of the life events, we haven't manifested any more money since we got married, or manifesting getting sick after a money expansion, or letting go, this is a big one, of our wellness and self-care practices, or having time with the family. Things that are in our value filter because more money's come in, and so then we've created less time for ourselves. So it's like we can have joy or money, love or money. Or I've seen this with clients where we feel like we might die if we allow more money in because you can literally energetically feel the lightness coming in and then feel like you might float away to so anchor yourself with something to worry about and creating a situation, ta-da, one that you're familiar with, something to worry about. Does this resonate? Let me know what is popping for you. Or you can feel like you're in a holding pattern and you just can't figure out what the resistance is. You can feel it, be like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. It's really annoying me. 
just know that as you listen to that, you're allowing these old past timelines just to move you back to that old default future timeline. And here's the thing, the impact of this means that things are just going to take longer to manifest, create a yo-yo effect, one that you're familiar with, your default set point. So I just invite you to think about, you know, what kind of things have you found yourself thinking? And to pop it, pop it in the comments, we'd love to, we'd love to hear. And to see this as this is what's happening in your energy field. So if you think of this as your human Wi-Fi is buffering, <laughs> we haven't got a coherent signal. Our frequency is denser and we've just got this push-pull going on in our energy field. So you've got that little grey flicker going on. You've got the buffering signal going on in your energy field when this is happening. And it just slows everything down. And the universe is like, I'm confused. What do you want? What's going on? And when this is happening, there is more inner work and alignment to be done so that the body is calibrated to a new timeline and creates a new set point. I've worked with over 10,000 people and help them to break through and to move on to a higher timeline and I can quickly see the patterns that people are running that keep them on their, their current timeline and this is something I dive deep, deep, deep into with people within our programs. We dive deep into this within the Wealth Portal and this is something that I teach within the Wealth Portal which you can experience right now. So I'm so excited to share this with you which is moving beyond your money default set point, your money normal. And we'll use the Helix method for this. So let me know if you are up for finding out what is your current money set point energetically. So you'll know consciously, of course, what income you have had in each month in the last, let's say, six months. And I'm going to invite you to do this for wherever you are in business. You might be at you know 25k a year, intending to grow to 75k a year. Or you might be at 100k a year and intending to go to 250k and so on. Everyone's going to have different numbers in terms of depending on you know their business levels. And you're going to need to be vibrating at a different frequency to be a different version of yourself that's going to receive that next level and be the CEO of that next level of your business. So as a first step, let's play what I like to call higher and lower. And find out where your money default set point is and then we're going to release the energetic stickiness around that. Does that sound good? So I'm going to invite you to draw, a, so to grab a piece of paper and to draw a line on your piece of paper and on the left hand side to draw, let's say a thousand and then on the right hand side go up to the amount that you desire. So you could do a hundred thousand for example. So looking like this, here's one I've just created and then in the middle go up along the way, go up in one thousands or 10,000 if your number's higher. So you can see, so you'd have like, so that's 1,000, so that would be, you go 10,000, um, if you're going up to, well, you've got 100,000, if you're up in 10,000, 10, up that way, or break it down into 5,000. And that's just so you've got a visual representation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to muscle test using this visual representation to see where your stickiness is. If you have any resistance to allowing in over 5,000 pounds, um, for the year, over £10,000 for the year, over £15,000 for the year, and we're going to go up. This is super powerful, super, super powerful. I had a, I had a client um, who was having real yo-yo months, and she couldn't figure out why, because the marketing was working one month, so she'd get like a hundred grand in that one month, and then there'd be crickets the next month. And she was like, what is going on? This is exhausting on my nervous system. And um, so I was like, right, let's energetically find out what your capacity for your, your money is. And we muscle tested on it. And I said, I had said to her, what is the amount of income that you bought in last year? And she's like, I've got no idea. I know I should know, but I don't know. Um, and so I said, well, let's find out what it is afterwards. But let's find out, you know, where your capacity is at energetically. And what we discovered was her capacity was at... Um, I forget the exact number, but it, let's say it was it was in the three hundred range. So three hundred thousand, um, it was something like three hundred thousand and thirty three thousand. And anyway, the we muscle tested on the number, and that was where the stickings was. Her energy field wasn't allowing any more in. And so we did the work. We worked on the beliefs and the emotions and the what had been coming up for her energetically. Cleared all of that. Got her aligned so she could move forward and and actually increase her capacity to allow more in. And she messaged me the, the next day and was like, I went and had a look at my numbers, you're not going to believe this. And the numbers from the previous year were the exact amount that was getting sticky for her that she tested on energetically. 
and she'd already met that number with the amount that had come in so this is why she was getting these wonky wonky um results in her business was because she had resistance around allowing more in from the previous year so this is really powerful stuff um and so i cannot urge you enough to to do this with me so i'm going to invite you to activate your connection with your higher self i'll guide you through how we do that with the helix method and then i'm going to guide you through muscle testing on your very fancy chart of um or timeline i should say of money from uh, 1,000 going up to whatever the amount is that you're wanting to call in. And I suggest going up in 5,000 or, or 10,000, depending on the amount you want to call in. Alrighty, so I'm going to uh, um, guide you through this. Okay, so just taking a nice deep breath, we're going to just activate that connection to your higher self. So breathing in from four and breathing out from four. Setting your intention to be, just become aware, set your awareness on your soul star chakra. And then we're going to increase your life force energy by breathing in for four, holding for four, and then breathing out for eight. Just do this at your own pace, just to do that three times. And then allow my words to land on your field if you choose. You can repeat after me. Speaking to all levels of my consciousness. I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Alrighty, so I'm going to invite you to muscle test with me now so we can see where your energy field is getting stuck. So on the previous days, I've taught you how to do the muscle testing using your body as a dousing device. If you are unfamiliar with this, then um, I invite you to go back to those other, other days where we were talking about that. So I gave you the overview on Tuesday on how to do the muscle testing. So that is where I was talking about, um, what did I call that one? Um, I'll put the link for that in the, in the comments um, after, after this. Um, but we're talking about bending bending reality and by collapsing timelines. All right, so you're going to use your your body as a as a dousing device using the sway technique, and so you're going to muscle test. When you say a statement, your body is going to respond by going forwards for a yes or backwards for a no. So you can see if your consciousness is going to allow this in. So I'm going to invite you to say, so I allow myself to receive over five thousand pounds a year. So we're going to do it annually. All right, so and see if you go forwards or backwards for that. And then you're gonna go up. So this is why I call it playing higher, higher or lower. So if you go forwards for, I allow myself to receive more than 5,000, and I, I hope you do, then you are gonna go up higher. I allow myself to receive over, and I would go halfway. So you can kind of start to, start to see. I allow myself to receive over, let's say 50,000. And then you're going to go forwards or backwards. So if you go forwards, you're going to go higher. Uh, and if you go backwards, you're going to go right. I allow myself to receive. You're going to go for a low amount, then 50,000. You're going to say 25,000. Does that make sense? And then you're going to, if you get uh, a forward for 25,000, then you know that you're in between 25,000 and 50,000. And so you're just going to find out where your energetic set point is. Does that make sense? Any questions, pop them below and I will circle back and answer them. So what, where, where is your body holding this resistance? And what your body is going to reveal is what's going on in your subconscious as to where you're holding the stickiness around this, what's going on in your energy field. So you've created your timeline like this. And we're looking at muscle testing on what you're annually allowing in financially. And then we're going to release this energetic set point. Away. So I'm just going to give you some space to muscle test on that now. So you're, you're muscle testing on, I allow myself to receive over 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 um, a year. And I'm going to find your, find your set point. So this is what I call playing higher and lower. So I hope that makes, makes sense. We'd love to know what, what you got in the, in, in the comments. Um, and as I said, when you're creating your timeline, go up in chunks of 5,000 to 10,000 so that you can find your, create your set point. So I'm just using this as an example with 100k a year. Hopefully you can see how I've created.
created that in any muscle test um, by as I've described. If there's a question, let me know in the comments so I can clarify it for you. So then once you've found your set point, so say for example, you're like, right, hang on a second, that's really annoying. I've got an energetic set point that's got stuck at 80,000, let's say for the year, and you're intending on growing your business to 100,000 this year or whatever the number is, is we want to release this energetic stickiness around that so that you can allow more flow in and to be able to allow yourselves to start to receive that 100k and, and, and more because otherwise the subconscious is going to go hang on a second you've already received the 80k now we're just going to bring you back to the same same <laughs> and so we're going to start to see some things showing up that are going to create that stickiness all right so i'm going to guide you through the next piece where you start to tell your consciousness that we are letting go of that stickiness so you're going to allow yourself to receive more than the amount that you desire to receive. And this can sometimes feel counterintuitive for people. So instead of if you're wanting, desiring to bring in 100,000 and you've got stickiness at 80,000, and I want you to release this, the stickiness at the 80,000. So I'm going to use, using my example, I'm going to use the language around 80,000, but bring in the numbers that you're working on, if that makes sense. Alrighty? So the language we're going to use is I'm ready to release this resistance to receiving more than 80,000 a year. I transmute, uncreate and delete this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Okay. I'm going to say it out loud once and then I'm going to invite you to, to repeat it say, it, say it out loud as well. And then I'm going to invite you to say it twice silently in your head so it's like you can hear your voice, your inner voice. You can hear your thought in your head saying it. This is really, really key for rewiring recoding your your brain okay i'll say it out loud so you can just follow along so you don't need to worry about what you're saying okay so you just need to know the number that you're releasing the resistance to all righty so when you're ready i'm going to just invite you to take a moment to breathe in for four and then breathe out for four you want to put your hand on your heart and then saying out loud I'm ready to release my resistance to receiving more than 80,000 a year. I transmute, uncreate and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And breathe in for four and breathe out for four. So this is keeping your heart into a coherent energy state. Notice what's happening to your body. Are you feeling any sensations, any heat, any coldness anywhere? How's this feeling in your body? And I'm going to invite you to say this silently. So I'll say it out loud so you can just repeat it silently so you hear the thought in your head. Hi Jackie. I'm ready to release my resistance to receiving more than 80,000 a year. I transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. And just notice how this feels in your body. And then again, silently saying it in your mind's eye. I'm ready to release my resistance to receiving more than 80,000 a year. I'm just using that number as an example. I transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And just notice how is this feeling in your body? This is the key thing is so paying attention to how your subconscious is speaking to you by what's going on somatically and energetically. And then we're going to think, okay, let's start to imprint so we can create this coherence in the, in the energy field. We're going to bring ourselves into alignment and imprint this coherence by calling in and, and saying, I'm, I'm ready to receive this amount of money. So. Because we've been releasing stickiness over 80k we want to say that yeah we're happy to have more than 80k thanks uh subconscious so we're going to allow ourselves to receive more than 80k so we're imprinting it and then we're going to build we build on from that so that makes sense so just taking a nice deep breath hi dixie just taking a nice deep breath breathing in for four breathing out for four and i invite you to say to say this out loud so i allow myself to receive Use an example over 80k 
I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. Noticing how this is feeling in your body, in your heart. And then to say silently, so it's a thought in your head, I allow myself to receive over 80k a year across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness and beyond. And then one more time, silently in your head, you're really amplifying that thought entity. I allow myself to receive over 80,000 a year across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Alrighty, so we've released the stickiness around that 80,000 mark. So now, whatever the amount is that you were calling in at the beginning of the week, we were talking about the amount of money you're on the call in for this week. So what would be the, this month, sorry, what would be the amount for the whole year? What would that look like? So let's now amplify that because we've been doing annual numbers today. So let's, I'm just going to say it's 100k. Okay, so we're going to allow your body to feel what it would feel like already to have already received that. So just inviting you to take a moment to bring this amount of money into your mind's eye and to see it in your bank account, to see it having coming in through all the sales in your business, all the products that you sell, all the services that you sell, however your business is set up. Just take a moment to visualize that and to feel the gratitude as you receive it and to fill your heart up with more and more love and then we're going to say this out loud I have just now received over 100k of course I have I feel so grateful happy peaceful I allow this across all dimensions planes times levels of consciousness. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. Now I'm going to invite you to silently repeat this so you're hearing it as a thought in your head. Your body is listening to these thoughts that you're generating. I've just now received over 100k. Of course I have. And you're feeling it's normal. I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful. I allow this across all dimensions. Names, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in four, breathing out four, and I'm going to invite you to do this one more time. Again, silently in your head, you're staying with this frequency. We're building up the momentum around this frequency. I've just now received over 100k. Of course, I have. I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And just notice how this is feeling in your body and any tingling sensations, what's going on in your energy field. And from this place, we've activated this frequency and I invite you to live in the energy of the question. So this is where we're living from the question as if this has already happened, this is our new normal, this is how we roll. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? And I'm inviting you to consider it from a place of like, wow, wonder and awe. And just allowing yourself to sit with this question as you're feeling the energy of this activation. And just take a moment just to write down any inspired ideas. If somebody's name pops into your head, make a note. Definitely call them to see how they're doing. You never, you never know. Uh, why that thought cloud has popped into your head at the moment that you've activated that frequency. So it's really, really key to pay attention to that little voice in your head, the voice, soft voice of your soul that is gently guiding you. So thinking of some ideas just to prompt and spark some thoughts is what inspired action can you take today to open up your money channels to keep them flowing? How many sales of products or services that you offer make up that amount that you're calling in this week? What action are you taking to make this manifesting inevitable? And of course, leading with love, leading with go-giver energy. We 
I can give a gift in secret and, you know, be the vehicle for the universe? Can you reach out to five people and just see how they are? Reach out to people you've worked with in the past, see how they're doing. Perhaps you can refer them to somebody else or perhaps they've been thinking about working with you. They might not know about your new service that you've got coming up. I'd love to know what has resonated for you in our conversation today. Thank you so much for joining me live and on the replay. And this is some of the things that we talk about in the Wealth Portal and in the Helix Method. Um, the Wealth Portal, uh, the doors are closed at the moment. If you'd like to get on the wait list, comment below or send me a DM and we'll get you added to the wait list. And then when doors open, you'll get first dibs. Um, we'd love to have you within the Wealth Portal with us. It's an epic ride where you, our intention is that you explode through your money ceiling in the next 60 days or less. So if you've got a question about that, just reach out to me in DMs and we can answer that for you. We are enrolling into the Helix Method Certification Programme. We've got some headline information on my website at louisahavers.com. Um, if you want all the details with our special pre-enrollment uh, pre saving that is only available here because you found, uh, you found this live, then just reach out to me in DMs. That can be on Instagram or on Facebook. Um, and uh, let us know and my team will get the invitation over to you. Um, to say you'd like the invitation for the Helix Method and we'll get all the juicy details over to you. It's in an unfancy Google document, so you just get to have a read through and then just circle back and let us know if you're in or out or if you've got a question and we'll answer any questions just to help you make an aligned decision. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I wanted to chat about exponential expansion tomorrow to answer any questions that you might have. I hope that this has served you. Thank you so much for joining me here on Instagram Live. Please do share this live on your stories if it's helped you and you think it'd help others. I would really, really appreciate that. Until tomorrow, I'm sending you loads and loads of love. Namaste.